Nine degree temperatures in Arkansas. Here two, three weeks ago, we had tornado risk. Now we're back to the next weather change and that's a pretty dramatic change, nine degrees. We don't get that in Southeast Arkansas. Silas, what are our priorities? Um, ours. Yes, our priorities are outside. The well house for first, and then we have to worry about the tiny house. It's never endured a it's winter cold snap in Arkansas. Over there. Yeah, over there. So let's get started and wait around for our next two priorities. But we're going to start with priority one and two first. Okay, here's the well house. This is what Tyler's done. He put in a heat lamp. Here's our amazing filtration system that gets out all that yucky iron from our lightning strike. It was horrible. Not now. But we don't want to ruin that expensive system in any way. Here is our pump. And all the little parts and components in it. Now, that is our first filtration system that we're not using. It didn't do good after the lightning strike. We should be okay with the heat lamp. Why should we be okay with the heat lamp? Well, they first called for cold, like, you know, icy precipitation, wintry mix and stuff. What that does for us is that's ice on trees and that's power lines down. And we're in a very rural area, even for southeast Arkansas already being rural compared to some of y'all. And that means we're not going to have lights for a while. But they've called that off, so the heat lamp should do us fine. But we don't always get the option to do this with electricity. <sighs> so, we think we'll be fine this time. But we're going to always keep our eye out for a non need for electricity non-electrical uh, source so let's check out the tiny house and see what's our step two is the tiny house the water pipes we don't want them bursting see how concerned sally is well she was she's got to stop and take a drink sally are you going to come help me check out the tiny house come on girl come on where are you going okay she is very concerned and lagging behind so maybe her concern is distracted now so now you can probably see one of the reasons why this is our biggest concern <sighs> we do not have the skirting around it and the pipes we have some pecs so let's see up under here we have some pecs and then there's a commode drain line so that's not a concern but this is so Tyler came over and wrapped it taped it and we have our faucet with one of these on there even though it's exposed in the back we're just trying everything we can Sally I know you're excited but don't jump up on me I'm trying to stay clean we've got ball practice tonight Inside the tiny house, what are we doing? Well, the air conditioner heater has thrown a code. F1, I don't know what that means. So I'm going to turn it off. Turn it back on. That's not good. It's cold over here. And... Let's see, maybe. It's on heat. There's fan. Cool. I don't want cool. Dry. And there's heat again. So we're going to keep the heat on over here. And hopefully it'll stay on. And then when it's time, we're going to drip faucets. Um, so, let's see. The heat's not on yet. Turn it up really high just to get it come on. We just want it to knock the chill out. <laughs> I really like these, but I'm unfamiliar with them.
to go to plan B in there. For some reason, I can't get it to work, but Tyler, I'll have to look at it tonight. Or I may come back over there and the heat is working. But between the heat being on and pecs and wrapped pipes, we'll see. Victims are successful. I don't know. But nine degrees is a lot. Just look at the temperature at the forecast. Out here with short sleeves. Nice. Now, yeah, it's still cool. Uh, the cat is prepared. Excuse me. Okay. The cat. The cat is prepared for cold weather. Hello. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> JC, why is it so blurry? There we go. JC has its shirt on. That's Goldilocks, ready for the cold weather. <laughs> 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 There's Silas. Being a attitude filled man, say hi. Being four is our animal. Doing? Oh, we picked up hay yesterday. That was one of our things, the animals. So, what is it? Step three and four for our animals is food and water is number three. And then number four is warmth. Mama Kitty over here, she's coming up, is the biggest concern because they're talking about frostbite. And she had... These babies. Got fixed last week. She's running away from me. Her incision looks fine. No. She's got a exposed belly, so she's probably going to have to stay inside. She's not an inside cat, but that's probably going to be her life. I'm not worried about the cows as much because all our cows have paired with another cow. So, Violet and Dairy are over there. And... They'll be able to keep each other warm. The chickens, I am a little concerned about, so we'll give them their heat lamp. And that ought to keep them fine. There's enough of them that they should keep warm. But now, it's time to do watering. I'm going to fill up the water, and then we're going to drain the water hose so that we don't have water in there to freeze.
Don't you just like little farm hands? No. They're just so cute. All right, that's done. I almost took out the gate, but shh. Today was time to clean out the fridge. That's done, and the dishwasher started with all the fridge things in there. Let's let me go over my list. Okay, so the well house and the tiny house, all covered pipes, exposed pipes, got all that cared for. Check. Yeah. All right. And we did that in the first part of this video. So now the animals are fed and water, and the cows will seek their own shelter. And I'm confident that are two in the pen will be fine. So the next is just how are they keeping warm? Because they're fed and watered. I drained the water hoses. Um, now the chickens need their heat lamp. Do you think the kittens are going to sleep in the shed or have they found their comfortable place? I bet if it starts freezing rain, they ain't going to stick around right here. But... For right now, they find this comfortable. Can't say I blame them. Hey, white peach. White peach. Oh. heat lamp we use i really like it we got it from our first chicken supplier she had an extra one we bought it from her family and i like it because i don't feel like i'm gonna burn a hole in something and i've burnt many things with those other ones like we've got in the well house but i don't want the chickens sitting on it i want them under it and it's good because it's warm it's warm but it's not hot to touch so Let's see how I can do with this. This is hay string that's on our square hay bales. I always tie some to the fence. It does come in handy. I'm putting this in a corner. I think they'll be fine huddled together. But I just want to add a little something in case they need it. Plug it in and make sure it's working. I 
think I'm going to raise it up more. I mean, it's okay. I don't think there's anything made for chickens, if I'm not mistaken. So, I don't think they'll hurt it if they're on it, but... want it high. Maybe if they need, they can huddle over in this corner together. They warm. We'll see what they're doing tonight. Let's see if it's working out for them. If they're over there in their boxes, they're fine. We'll see what they look like in the morning. We'll see if this is what we needed to do. I don't worries. They've done pretty cold weather before. But, um, ah, I'm not trying to scare you. Maybe they can get up higher if they need to. I don't know. But if they get over in this corner, they'll be fine. Yeah, I feel the warmth. So that's good. Chickens are done.